joined in 1992 into the Scots Guards and left April this year. Um, had an amazing career, um, spent a lot of time initially, obviously protecting the Queen in Edinburgh, in uh, London, Buckingham Palace, St. James's Palace, and Windsor itself. Um, I've got a pretty unique account when I was looking after the Queen in Windsor. It was a really hot day. I mean, really hot. And you can imagine with the bare skin, the tunic, you're sweating a lot. Anyway, a police officer came over to me and said, um, you to get into cover and have a drink of water. And I thought, no, I'm not leaving my post. The police officer can't authorise that. I said, so I can't even refuse. He went, no, the message has actually come from the Queen. So I thought, okay, can't go any higher than that. So I went under the arch, took my bare skin off, had a drink of water. At that point, the officer that was checking the guard came around the corner and nearly stopped in horror at what I was doing. He was quickly, obviously, explained to him that Her Majesty the Queen had authorised me to do that. So I was very thankful for her that day. That's brilliant. I bet she had no idea she had the potential of getting you in trouble, but actually there was no higher order in the land than to get that from uh, Her Majesty the Queen. Um, and what an amazing anecdote. And the, the, the personal response of her, I suppose, she must have seen so many soldiers over the years oh, fainting, yeah. collapsing, yeah. At various events. I mean, All in her service. All in her service. She didn't want that to happen to you. <laughs> no, definitely not. I was so uh, thankful that... She'd obviously, like you said, she must have seen so many of us over the years. And the thought process was, get this man a drink of water. He must be boiling. <laughs> How do you feel about our new king? Are you hopeful that uh, he'll be able to carry that huge, enormous burden that Her Majesty did so well for seven decades? Uh, I honestly do. I think he'll do a fantastic job. Uh, him himself, when we used to look after them at St. James's Palace, he'd often get his staff members to bring down food for members of the Guard, which was far better than the food that was provided by the army. So just little touches like that make him very personal. So, um, yeah, I think he'll do a brilliant job.